Hi, good day. This video covers setting up an Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. Okay, so for the objectives, so first, at the end of the video, we should be able to install the Active Directory Domain Services or the ADDS role on the Sun Telmo S01. Next is to promote the server to become a domain controller or DC. So to proceed with the video, we have some prerequisite, okay, or checklist that we need to check, okay. So first, you have to make sure to use an account with administrative privilege or privileges on the server, like the administrator. We have to ensure that the server is configured with static IP address. So in this video, we will be using 192.168.1.1. We have to ensure that the server name is based on the company's naming convention, like the San Telmo S01. Okay? And next is we need to set up the DNS IP address to 192.168.1.1 as the primary DNS on the server. So if you'll observe, this is the same IP address assigned to our server. That is because on the same server, which is the San Telmo S01, we are going to configure this as the ADDS or the Active, Active Directory Domain Services and the DNS or the domain name service or system. Okay? So the topology for this demo is this. So we have the server, okay, with 192.168.1.1 and the two clients. But the configuration on this video we are going to focus on the Windows Server 2019 or the Sun Telmo S01. All right, let me open my server here. Okay, now that I have my server, so let me log in. Okay, so control alt delete here. Okay, so let's log into the server. All right, so before we start, okay, so let us check first the time and date of the server, okay, so if there would be some changes needed here, okay, so we could do so, okay, so let me change the time first and see if we are on the correct time zone, all right, so date and time. Well, let me set the time automatically the time zone let me change it so we are in plus eight all right so we are going to configure the server to become a domain controller, all right? And we have to check whether we are using the static IP address here. Let's check this one. So go to dot settings, all right? So Ethernet, adapter options, and then let's see if we are using the static IP address, which is 192.168.1.1, all right? So properties here, okay. TCP IP, so this 192.168.1.1, okay, and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So we need to ensure that this is using 192.168, okay, so 192.168.1.1. So same IP address as that of the server. Okay, so you can also use 127001. Okay, so but let's just use this 192.168.1.1. All right, here, okay, when done. Okay, close this. Okay, so the next thing to ensure is we have to use the account administrator here. Okay, another way to determine without pointing it to this user here, you could go ahead and 
type in who am I on the PowerShell. So let me do that. Okay. I'm going to have here PowerShell. All right. So type in there who am I? Okay. So let's see. So we've got who am I? All right. So we already have typed in who am I? Okay. So we are using the administrator and this is San Telmo as 01. All right. So let's close this and let's start with the configuration. Close this also. We're done with it. Now, so to configure win your Windows Server 2019, okay, and install a domain controller on it. So first is we need to install the ADDS role, right? And to do that, on the server manager, you could go ahead and click on the add roles and features here. But then before we proceed with that one, so I'd like you to check the local server here, okay? So and check the properties here. So we are using the San Telmo S01. And the Ethernet IP address is 192.168.1.1. Okay, so also we have to ensure that we are using the correct time because this is a server. All right, so let's go on to the dashboard and let's click on add roles and features here. You could also do that by clicking manage here. All right, so let's go ahead and click add roles and features here. Okay. So the add roles and features wizard. So before you begin, okay, so you could check this out. So verify the following tasks have been completed. We are using the administrator account, okay, and there should be a strong password, okay. Network settings such as static IP address are configured. So we're done with those, all right. So we just have to go ahead and click next, okay. So for the select installation type. We just have to click on role-based or feature-based installation. So configure a single server by adding roles, role services, and features. So we can go ahead and click next. Okay. So next is select the destination server. So San Selma S01 will be our destination server. So highlight that one and then go ahead and click next. Okay. Now, we need to install two roles here, right? So namely, the Active Directory Domain Services, that's ADDS here, okay? So we need to install also other components or tools. So just go ahead and click Add Features, all right? So the next role to be installed is a DNS server. So tick DNS server there. Go ahead and accept this Tools Needed Add Features. Okay, when done, go ahead and click next. Okay, click next here on the select features. You could go ahead and click next on the Active Directory Domain Services. Same thing also is with the DNS server. So go ahead and click next. Right? So confirmation installation selection. So if you have time, you could read this. Okay, so this is what we have configured. Okay, and you also have the option to check the restart destination server automatically if required. Okay, so click yes. And then finally, we can now go on with installation. So go ahead and click install here. Okay, so we're done. So the next thing is, we have to click this one here. Promote this server to a domain controller. All right, so let's go ahead and click this. Okay, so that will lead us to the deployment configuration. Okay, so we have three selections here. Okay, so for the deployment operation, so the first option is add a domain controller to an existing domain. So we don't have the existing domain yet. 
okay? The second option is to add a new domain to an existing forest. We don't have the existing forest yet. So therefore, we are going to add a new forest, okay? So we have to specify here the root domain name, okay? And based on our topology presented earlier, the fully qualified domain name or the root domain name is santelmo.net. Okay, so you need to double check it that this should conform with the requirements okay, of the organization or the naming conventions of the organization. So in this case, this is santelmo.net. Go ahead and click next here. All right, so the next thing is we have to choose the functional level of the new forest and root domain. So by default, it is set to Windows Server 2016, okay? So we don't have any other option for the forest functional level. And on the domain functional level, so we only have also Windows Server 2016, all right? So we have to leave these two options checked here, okay? Specifying the domain controller capabilities which are the domain name systems or DNS server, which we just ticked earlier, okay? And the global catalog or the GC. So in here, this requires a directory service restore mode password, okay? So just make sure the password set here is a strong password. Okay, so when say strong password, it's combinations of uppercase, lowercase numbers, and special characters. All right, so after that, click next. Okay, so a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found. So um, we just have to go ahead and click next. Do, do not check this create DNS delegation, All right? So go ahead and click next. So the domain or the net bias domain name should inherit San Telmo. Okay, so which we typed in earlier. All right. And then go ahead and click next here. Okay, so next is the path. So specify the location of the ADDS database, log files, and sys volume. So let us just accept these default values here and then click next. Okay, so review your selections here. All right, so what we have checked in, so it's santelmo.net, the NetBIOS name is Santelmo. The functional levels are both sets to Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2016, all right? Both for the forest functional level and the domain functional level. Also, additional options includes the global catalog and the DNS server, okay? Let's click next. All right, so we're about to restart. Close this one. All right, so we're done with configuration. So if you'll observe here, we have now the San Telmo, which is the domain name backslash administrator. Okay, so that means we have successfully configured the San Telmo S01 to be part of the San Telmo domain. So let's go ahead and get inside. All right, 
Now that we're done, there are now three roles here. Okay, so namely the ADDS, which we have just installed. Okay, so together with the DNS and the default selection file and storage services. So we have three roles configured on this server. All right. So also we could check the computer name here. Okay, so let's click on this PC here, properties. All right. So this computer is now part of the sanselmo.net domain. Okay. So the domain name is sanselmo.net. Okay. You might also want to check the tools here and look for Active Directory users and computers. So that's it. That's how easy it is to configure a Windows Server 2019 to become the first domain controller on the domain. Alright, so that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you find it informative. Thank you.